So finally the Swift Key Flow Beta has been released so I have installed it on my Samsung Galaxy S3 4G. Let's say we will type a new email here. And as you can see here is the new Swift Key Flow. And one of the best things with SwiftKey is that you can have up to three languages activated at the same time. And that's awesome. And if we go into settings in SwiftKey, you can see now that We now have the flow input mode, so we can use it like, for example, swipe, swiping with your finger, and you still have the great predictive typing built in too. So I'm quite impressed of Swift Key Flow. The first beta is really awesome. Works great. But it is some work still that uh, it doesn't um, do correctly, but uh, I think it will learn them quite fast. Uh, some words that I type a lot when I use swipe, for example, can't um, be correct with SwiftKey Flow yet, but I think that's a matter of time actually. So, for example, I can. Uh, Type hello as you see there. Hello there. As I said before, you can use different language. I can so I can uh, type the Swedish word hey here as you can see so uh, you can type up to three different language in the same with the same keyboard I think that's awesome and as you can see when swiping uh, it looks more like the flow that you have seen in the demo video it looks quite nice as you can see the animation looks quite nice I really love that so this is how SwiftKey looks we have some different themes to choose We have the Holo theme that I use now. We have the Fuchsia, Dark, Light, Neon and Pumpkin. And I prefer the Holo version. The Holo or the Dark is my favorite. And uh, SwiftKey Flow also learns from your tweets on Twitter, Facebook, Gmail, SMS and so on. So everything you type there adds to the SwiftKey Flow database. So I can highly recommend trying SwiftKey Flow Beta. I will link to it below in the description text. So you can download it for free and try it out. Bye.